Hey guys, what's up? This is the uh, K2O Gamer, and I just had to uh, talk, about, uh, talk about a little bit of the, what I just experienced. Basically, the Elder Scrolls Online. I just played through the weekend. Um, I just wanted to give you some of my impressions on it. Uh, I did make it to around level 10. And, I don't know, I'm 50-50 with this game. It, it is a beautiful world. Don't get me wrong. Uh, sky, uh, terrain, just the world, the atmosphere feels very, very RPG-ish, if I could explain that. Uh, for the O-Heads, uh, if anybody here remembers that first time listening to EverQuest, when you're running it and you make it to Fade Dark, and it's like... Wow, you have this impression of seeing a city on trees and things like that nature. You sort of feel like you're in that atmosphere. The world is huge. Very huge. It's traditional uh, Elder Scrolls where it's just the world is big. Um, Let me see. And as far as graphics go, I mean, you can see that online. But it's very traditional Elder Scrolls. Um... I don't think they're as good as Skyrim. I think they toned it down some, so, you know, with all the players playing, you know, it won't uh, kill your PCs or anything like that. But it's still very beautiful. Um, let me see. What I think of it, my, my, just my overall thoughts, the bottom line is, it feels like a single player. It feels like a game that was made for single player. The combat is typical Skyrim. You do feel kind of stiff at times. And for some reason when you're in third person animations. It looks like you're running at 100 miles per hour. And you're floating on air. That's how it feels. Um, Let me see. I really don't feel like it's an MMO. When you play it. It just feels like a, a typical RPG. Like a Skyrim game. Again like I said. Like a Skyrim game. Something you've known to play. Just people are in it. They're even in your instances when you're doing stuff, quests, going into dungeons, etc. I mean, it's cool because you're not alone, but at the same time, it's like weird. Um, let me see here. Progression seems to be just that you leveling up. I'm not sure about professions. You might be able to do everything you can in Skyrim. And if that's the case, then why not just save 15 bucks a month and pay Skyrim, right? Um... But actually, that's a bad uh, example because you do want to play with other players. I just don't see, like, this big vibe that you get that this is going to be, like, the next big MMO. Just feel like a big single-player game for me right now. Um, At this point, I don't even think it's better than Neverwinter. Um, I don't want to offend the Elder Scrolls fans and anything, but I think just I mean, everyone is just the better typical MMO out there, and it's free. Uh, some of the examples is you have the Holy Trinity, you got healing, DPS, tanking. Um, the progression through the games, you know, you level up, and your gear score determines, you know, what kind of level uh, dungeons you could do, etc. Like that, there's name bosses, big bosses, gear grinding, PvP, PvE, professions, etc. So, I mean, I'm hoping Elder Scrolls could pull that off because those type of games, like in Skyrim, I'm using Skyrim as an example. You could fight dragons and everything, right? Will you be able to fight bigger dragons like that in uh, Elder Scrolls Online? Or is this just a game where it's like, hey, I could solo a dragon, whatever, this and that. You know, a lot of that plays into my mind as when I think of an MMO. I'm thinking about content, encounters, rewards, you know, things like that. And I don't know if Elder Scrolls is really meant to be that. I mean, at least Elder Scrolls Online. Um, I think it's just made to be a big game that you experience with other players. But you basically can get by on your own. That's how I see it. Um, not to bash it. I think it would be a solid game to play online with friends and everything. But I don't know if it's a $15 a month game. I'm completely honest. I don't, as from what I saw right now. But then again, like I said, I, I'm not high level. I only made it to level 10. Did the dungeons, geared up some. You know, as far as you could go as level 10. 
And you just get this feeling when you play a game. You're like, okay, I like this. And you can tell where it's going with Elder Scrolls. You just feel like... I don't know. One thing I do like about it, it, it does have old schoolish type elements. Like you actually feel like you're playing old school like EverQuest and things like that. But yeah, those are my opinions about it. I think it's a solid game. I don't think it's a $15 a month game. I really don't see myself paying 60 bucks plus 15 a month for it. Um, Unless there's a lot of content a lot of encounters maybe something guild related and that's going to be all interesting to me um i'm just speaking from what i've experienced uh not what everybody else has uh commented or reviewed on but this is what i see in that game and um uh, yeah those are my opinions it's a good game not a 15 dollar a month game as of yet things might change before it drops um but yeah i want to thank you for uh Listening to my review or my rants and complaints and uh, good points about the game. Uh, if you like this uh, review, go ahead and like it below. And I'm the K2O Gamer, and thanks for listening. Bye.